Good morning world changers. It is day 67 of the 100 days of self-discovery challenge. I have to confess I've actually skipped the original question because I felt it was too similar to yesterday's question but you're I'm going to tell you anyway and you're totally welcome to to do this question but the question was write 10 things that make you smile so 10 things that make you smile and just think about how you connect with them the reason I've skipped that is because I just I did think it was too similar to the previous question which was what's your favorite way of spending your day so I'm presuming the things that make you smile that would be the way that you spend your day surely so I've skipped it so today we've gone for write 10 words you would like to live by I like this question so again write 10 words that you would like to live by so this is not necessarily what you're living by currently, which is totally fine. If you're already sorted, you're absolutely there living by the standards that you want to live by. Brilliant. That is fantastic. Please share them and tell us how you did it. But this is a, a list of the qualities and the um, the way you want to show up in the world and way, the way you want to you would like to behave so for an example one example would be um so i would like to be um i was going to say calmer sometimes i get triggered which we all do and i am far better than i used to be i know that gosh i used to react to everything so um but i would still like to continue working on that so i would like to be i suppose the word is more thoughtful and uh, less impulsive so uh, if something happened rather than just reacting I would like to have the the sense to kind of take a deep breath hold it just observe it think what why am I being triggered by that what's going on and let me digest that before I respond so I would like to be when I say karma I mean in that and that kind of makes me sound like I properly kick off, but I don't. <laughs> I don't. I am a well-rounded individual, honest. But yeah, so thinking about your list, once you've written your 10 words that you would like to live by, think about how many of them you're living by now. Uh, think about what it gives you to live, what, or what it would give you or does give you to live by these words so if your one of your words is honesty you know that's all being authentic that's definitely on my list um, you know what does that actually mean to you what does it mean in terms of your relationships with other people how you show up in the world how you react at work and um, your home life your personal and professional life you know how what does that actually mean to you to be authentic and what if you are truly living an authentic life as in being true to your core values and not people pleasing and not going against your root core values because you feel you can't sort of you can't tell your boss or colleague or whatever whoever it might be what you really feel uh, and then we're not suggesting being uh, nasty to anybody here you know you, there's no need for that let's just show love and compassion but you know if you really don't want to do something if you're asked to do something you're like do you know what that goes really against my core values so one thing for me I suppose um, well it's like in keeping with my core values so I uh, believe that a plant-based lifestyle and a vegan lifestyle is one better for my health it's better for the environment and uh, you know and obviously it's for the welfare of the animals I don't I'm a massive animal lover so I don't want to do anything that creates demand for cruelty or pain or to for them to be harmed so in terms of when it comes to my events and conferences you know I had this first um, my first conference I thought okay anybody that would come to my house I was you know obviously providing catering anybody that comes to my house I wouldn't cook them a, a meal that included animal products or meat dairy that kind of thing so why when it came to my events 
I feel like I'm inviting people to my event, you know, I'm putting on a show for them and I'm catering, I'm hosting. So why would I go against my values? Because I, I knew it would be unpopular providing a vegan meal. However, that would be against my core values and my beliefs. So, you know, that's what it means to me to be authentic. You know, if my belief system is that it's a healthier way to live, it's better for the environment and it's, you know, certainly better for the animals, why would I go against that just because it might be slightly unpopular? So that's what we, what I mean about being authentic. And it's not about being aggressive with anybody or forcing your opinions. It's just being true to yourself. Um, and, you know, when you can be that and you feel comfortable being true to yourself, that's an amazing way to live. Uh, you know, I've still got other areas I need to work on. It's continuing development, but uh, it's certainly a much... Life is just easier when you are just true to yourself. That is the one thing that I've learned through personal development. As soon as you live by your own values, your own moral compass, it's just much more straightforward. It really is. It's so much easier. So, again, some other sub questions to help you with this review. Um, think about how uh, living by these qualities uh, and this list that you've created improving your life. So I've, you know, I've just mentioned there about you know being authentic to myself and being true to my core values and my moral compass. That is making life easier for me. For me, it's just, it's black and white. There's no gray areas. So, you know, once I understand what my core value, are, my core values are, or what I worked them out and what was in keeping with me, suddenly all my decisions and choices about life just became much more straightforward because it's, I knew myself. And that's what the self-discovery is, challenge is about, is really, truly getting to know yourself because it, it just makes life easier because when you know yourself then and you're confident in yourself I mean this is the challenge because once we often do know ourselves very well but because we're trying to fit in with society fit in with others we're very social beings you know we're built that way we're designed that way that our brains absolutely we want belonging we want acceptance from others and we want validated by others we want to know that we're not the only freak or the the only gay in the village is a, for want of a better expression you know that we don't want to be singled out we want to have a tribe around about us and the challenge is that when we go to work on ourselves suddenly we start realizing how conditioned we are and how we're not living by our core values and it it means there's a transition period where you have to step away from everything you've known and everyone you've known and it can often um, it can feel very isolating in the beginning however when you start operating from your true self you start attracting people that are like-minded that you start attracting your tribe other people that share similar belief systems so it's only a temporary thing so remember that if you are feeling uh, if you are going through this journey and of personal development and you're feeling a little bit isolated then you know the truer you are to yourself you will start attracting uh, similar people into your life and you will create your tribe again you'll attract the right people that um that you connect with and that's what it's about you know i mean god connection is like one of the biggest killers or lack of connection is the biggest killers in our society today that we're you know loneliness is a massive issue anyway don't get me started on that that's another thing um so yeah, final question to help you with your review. Just how would it feel to live by all 10? So again, we've worked, you know, the previous question was all about how would your life would improve by living by these qualities of, on your list, but just how would it feel? You know, I've mentioned life is much more easier. I remember reading a quote from a book, I can't remember what the book was, but it really struck me because it said, life is a test and we only pass when we're true to ourselves. And that has really stuck with me because I just thought, yeah, totally. Yeah, it just, it does actually just clear out all the complications of life when you start living by your true values. So some of the other things that I put on my list, just maybe give you some tips and heads up. You know, I wanted to be uh, probably more confident um, without arrogance. Uh, I think that's an important quality to have. I want to be confident and, 
you know, I've grown massively over the years in terms of my confidence, but there's still, I still get in my own way. I still doubt myself. I still worry, all these kind of things. I think it's, I think there's normal to, have, um, and I think it's healthy to have a little bit of that. But I'd also, you know, I've written kind, evolving, growing, uh, honesty is a big thing. I cannot stand dishonesty and I can seek it out like somebody being dishonest to me. I'm, well, we all do. We all have a sense of somebody being dishonest and we feel it in our guts and our soul when somebody is, something's not quite right. We might not be able to work out what it is, but we feel it. So yeah, I think that's a, a massively important quality that I'm you know, I do live by and, you know, it's not always easy, but I think if you're honest with compassion um, and you're, you know, honest with genuine intentions and it's not about being cruel or unkind or anything like that, I think that makes a huge difference. And well, that is the difference. So that's today's check in. Wow, I did not expect to go on for that long today. Um, but yes, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you are enjoying these self discovery videos, please spread the word, spread them on social uh, media, you know, reshare, post, tag somebody in and let them know that you're doing this challenge because when we go to work on ourselves, we start to think better. When we think better, we get, we start to make better choices. And when we make better choices we get better results and that's when we start changing our world and there will be people out there just eager and desperate for this challenge so yeah let me know uh, your reflections share your comments in the review below in the comment box below or join our change your world facebook group uh, love to you all take care and i will see you tomorrow for day 68 cheers bye